let us discuss principle and construction of fiber cable right what is the principle and construction of fiber cable of or optical fiber so optical fiber is made up of thin strands and these strands can be made either from glass or from plastic so optical fiber are basically made of two material it can be either glass or it can be a plastic now it has little mechanical strength as we all know that because a glass is very fragile material so it must be enclosed in a protective jacket either we talk about glass or we talk about plastic it do not have that much strength so to protect that we need to give it a proper jacket or covering and that proper jacket or covering is known as protective jacket right it is a protective jacket often two or more fibers are enclosed in the same cable for increased bandwidth and redundancy in case one fiber breaks we have seen that in case one of the cable is not working either properly or it is a complete failure in that case we do not want to lose our data so on the safer side it is suggested that to use two cables or two optical fiber cable in the same cable why right so in the same casing we can use two optical cables now it is also easier to build full duplex system using two fiber one for transmission in each direction now here you can see the pictures this is fiber cross section as you can see it is a simply like a pipe or a wire right it is simply like a wire inner side which is a dark brown side as you can see it is our core outer side is our cladding and the outermost side is our jacket right so it is covered layer by layer to protect the cable or optical fiber which is glass or plastic now how the system works as you can see here signal source is been transmitted to optical transmitter which is transmitted to optical receiver and then it is sent to signal destination but it is can be a copper wire or copper cable here we need fiber optical cable and here again we can use copper cable so there is a combination of material which we are going to use to transfer signal from signal source to optical transmitter we can use copper wire and to transfer signal from optical transmitter to optical receiver when the word we are using optical we must use fiber optics right so we need to use here optical fiber cable for transmitting this particular signal from optical transmitter to optical receiver from this point we can again use copper cable to transmit our further signal to signal destination so this is the summary of construction of fiber or optical fiber we are having a core which can be of plastic or of glass it is covered to protect it from any kind of damage and the covering is known as protective jacket right so that jacket is formed by cladding and jacket now here you can see there are two types of fiber optic cables the difference is whether the fiber is free to move inside a tube with a diameter much larger than the fiber or is inside a relatively tight fitting jacket right there are two type of fiber optics one in which cable is free to move inside it and another there is no movement possible the difference is whether the fiber is free to move or it is not allowed to move inside the jacket they are referred to as loss loose tube and tight buffer cables if it is allowed to move then it is a loose tube cable if it is not allowed to move then it is termed as tight buffer cables 
both method of construction have advantages so in case of loose tube cables all the stress of cable pulling is taken up by cable strength members right and fiber is free to expand and contract with temperature whereas in case of tight buffer cables are cheaper and generally easier to use so both are having plus and minus side it depends on the usage what we need to use now here you can see two diagram this one is of loose construction and this is for tight so here you can see the inner core is free to move inside it and in this case the inner core is not allowed to move anywhere due to tight packing right so all the elements are same core cladding fiber buffer air or gel and tube all are same but the way of construction is somewhat different and one or two element may vary in case of construction over here as you can see here we are using kevlar strength member and plastic buffer instead of that air or gel right so it depends on the case what we are using now let's discuss about mode and material see again i have put in one figure which will easily help us to know more about cable so this innermost part of fiber optical fiber is our core material the covering to that inner material is known as cladding the cover to that cladding is termed as coating then come a strength member and outer jacket strength member is basically a material which will help the core to stay protected to expand or contract due to any temperature difference right so it will take all the strength or pressure on itself and allow it to rest now since optical fiber is a wave guided right light can propagate in a number of modes if a fiber is of large diameter light entering at different angle will excite excite different modes while narrow fiber may only excite one mode now multi mode propagation will cause dispersion which result in a spreading of pulse and limits the usable bandwidth right so it is somewhat not good for optical fiber if there is some any kind of dispersion happening because due to that usage of bandwidth will be limited single mode fiber has much less dispersion but is more expensive to produce it's a small size together with that fact that numerical aperture is smaller than multi mode fiber makes it more difficult to couple to light source so there are some limitations of using single or double slit right so based on material it can be glass it can be plastic it can be plastic clad silica right uh, till now we have seen we can use glass or plastic but one more material which we can use is plastic clad silica it is a category of plastic only which is termed as plastic clad silica right now types of optical fiber so there are different types of optical fiber both the types of fiber described as step index or graded index right so there are basically two important category of optical fiber step step index or graded index in case of step index fiber the index of refraction changes radically because core and cladding due to core and cladding the index of refraction changes very gradually right it changes whereas in case of graded index fiber it compromises multi mode fiber right it is a compromised mode of multi mode fiber but the index of refraction gradually decreases away from the center of the core as you can see it is decreasing away from the center of the core right 
and graded index fiber has less dispersion than multi mode step index of the core now let's talk about application of optical fiber we all know that in today's era optical fiber fiber optics fiber cables are widely used around the world right so it has plenty of application in medical communication army telecommunication anywhere or everywhere in the world so let us just see few examples here fiber optics cable are widely used in industries and applications right then in medical use it is also incorporated in light guides imaging tools as well as lasers for surgeries in case of defense it is used for hydrophones for se seismic wave and sonar wave detections when we talk about data storage it is used for data transmission when we talk about networking we use fiber optics in networking also right variety of networking settings are being used using this fiber optics industrial and commercial use is there for imaging in hard to reach areas right we are uh, when we need any kind of image of a place where it is not so easy to reach so we use this fiber optics to determine or capture that particular area then there is a broadcast tv television radios everywhere fiber optics is there these are few more examples of fiber optics such as in telephone systems in submarine cable networks in data link computers which we call at catv systems right or cctv surveillance and it is also used for connecting fire police emergency service etc used in hospitals schools traffic for cctv monitorings they are used widely in industry for heavy duty construction as well so this is all about fiber optics what is fiber optics what are important application of fiber optics how you can manufacture fiber optics i hope all the topics which we have covered is quite clear thank you mm -hmm.